Right, now, well, hello and welcome to uh, this exercise on indices and equations and stationary points than differentiation. Uh, this has been sent to me by one of my subscribers and is from a past uh, exam question, that is. Now, what I've done is to uh, copy it all that again to make sure that you can see what's written there. And it says, oh, this carries, um, this carries eight marks, by the way, so it's quite a lot of marks. Apparently, that's the last question in the paper itself. Right. And it, it says that the curve y is equal to 4x squared plus ax plus 5 has a, a stationary point. Find the value of the positive constant, sorry, of the positive constant a, given that the y coordinate of the stationary point is 32. Okay, now the difficulty with this question itself is, is in the manipulation of the various fractional indices. Okay, I think that's difficult. So I'm going to be very slow and deliberate. I'm sure you can do this faster and you probably can find a different way of doing this again. You probably find an easier way of doing it, but that, that's fine. But I should try and explain every step. Okay, now, stationary point first. Now, we need to differentiate y with respect to x. And that gives us that dy dx is 8x minus ax, uh, ax raised to the power of minus 2. Now, minus 2 because this x here is x into power minus 1, and you understand what. So that's why all the uh, negative values have come from, the negative and negative values come from there. Right. Now, so now, this that means that x to the power minus 2 is equal to 8x. We want to get rid of this x here. So if we multiply both sides, sorry, if we multiply both sides by uh, x squared, we end up with a is equal to 8x cubed. Now if we then divide both sides by 8, we end up with x cubed is equal to 8 to the power 8. Now, if we then take the cube root of, sorry, the, the cube root of both sides, so raised to the power 1 third, that is, we then have that x is equal to 8 over 8 raised to the power of 1 third. So now, what's going to happen now is that whenever we see x there, in this equation now, we have to put in a over 8 to the power of 1 third. Now, what you have to bear in mind, or what I should try and explain later on as well, is that 1 over 8 to the power of 1 third is 1 over 2. You have to buy it in mind. I shall explain again the term as we as we go along. Okay, so that's that one there. So now I have to substitute all that into x now. So I then have that 32 because y the y coordinate at the stationary point is 32 there. So now we've got that 32 is equal to 4 into x squared. Now x squared, x is a over 8 to the power of one third from there and then we square it hence that 2 there so that becomes uh, 4 into a over 8 to the power of 1 third all squared plus a x minus 1 now I'm going to come back to this later on I'm going to come back to that one now if I don't write this one here as 4 into 8 raised to the power of one third all squared that will give me this a there and then one eighth raised to the power of one third that will give me uh, again f f instead of right, this eight here it becomes this one eighth there one eighth raised to the power of one third all squared plus ax minus one now 
one eighth to the power of one third is two. Sorry, it's a half. So it's a half. And a half squared, because I did two there, a half squared is one over four. Okay. So now this is one over four there, and that's four. So that four and that bit will cancel out. So in the next line, this four will not be there. Right, so next line. We have this here now for the next line. And of all, oh, I forgot. Now the five has gone across to the left hand side, so it's at 32 minus five, we end up with seven there. Okay, so we now have uh, eight to the power two thirds, and that's that one there. Don't forget the four has gone. Plus a, which is this one here, multiplied by x raised to the power minus one. So that's x there, that's x, and that's minus one there. Okay? Now, what's happening here, if I could just explain, try to explain, what's happening here is that we then have a to a over 8. Now, minus 1 times a third will give us minus 1 third. Okay? Now, don't forget, all of that is the x from there. Okay? Right. Moving on. So, what we then have on the next line is this one here. I have now expanded this to be in that form there. Now we've got our a to the what a to the power of two thirds. I've got a to the power of two thirds here. Now I've got this a here. I've got this a. Oops, sorry. I've got this a there. And that's this A there. Now, A to the power of minus one third is this one here. A to the power of one third is this bit here. Okay. And my, and this H here, which is the uh, 1 over 8 to the power of minus 1 third is this one here. Now, 1 over 8 to the power of 1 third, sorry, to the power of, power of minus 1 third can be written as 8 to the power of 1 third. And 8 to the power of 1 third, the cube root of 8 is 2. Okay, that's, so that there is now 2. This bit becomes a to the power 1 multiplied by a to the power, sorry, a to the power minus 1 third. And because you're multiplying, you add the indices. So that then becomes a to the power two-thirds. So this bit, uh, all of that here is a to the power two-thirds. Right, so we, we now have two there and a to the power two-thirds because that's two, that bit, and that's a to the power two-thirds that bit there. So the next line then becomes 27 is equal to a to the power two thirds plus two a to the power two thirds. Okay, remember this is a side two from there. So 27 is now three a to the power two thirds. If we now divide both sides by three, we end up with 9 is equal to a to the power 2 thirds. 
If we then multiply, sorry, if we then raise both sides to the power of 3 over 2, yeah, because for indices 2 over 3 raised to the power of uh, um, 3 over 2, so you multiply in this instance 3 over 2, the 2s will cancel out and the 3s will cancel out, so that becomes a to the power. So that would be a to the power on there. So now what we then have is that 9 to the power of a half, which is 3, because the square root of 9 is 3, then 3 times 3, sorry, 3 raised to the power of 3, 3 times 3 times 3, that's 27. So we end up with an answer being that, um, that A is equal to 27. Now I'm sure yes, you can do this faster than I'm doing here. I'm sure I'm sure quite sure that there must be an easy way of doing this anyway. Thank you for watching and please please subscribe and please watch some of my uh, other videos and hopefully see you again sometime. Bye bye now. Bye bye.